Jamaica's road fatalities have surpassed the 300 mark for this year, 2022. This after a two-vehicle collision in Hanover early this morning left two people dead and several others hospitalized. Sandy Williams reports. About 12.40 Tuesday morning, a white Mitsubishi Lancer station wagon and a white Mitsubishi Lancer sedan were traveling along the Trial main road in Hanover in opposite directions. Upon reaching one and a half kilometers east of the Sandy Bay police station, the station wagon went onto the right-hand side of the road. The right front section of the station wagon later collided with the right front section of the sedan motor car. It's reported that the driver of the sedan and a woman on the back seat of the station wagon died on the spot. The driver of the sedan has been identified as 27-year-old Oniki Barnes of Goshen District in St. Elizabeth. It's understood that Mr. Barnes was employed at the Grand Palladium Hotel and he was on his way from work at the time of the accident. The identity of the woman is not yet known. The driver of the station wagon and two other passengers were taken to the Noel Holmes Hospital for treatment. Vice Chairman of the National Road Safety Council, NRSC, Dr. Lucian Jones, says this latest accident has pushed Jamaica's road fatalities over the 300 miles. We are still below 307 too many years for last year, debt, debt burden, but we are heading towards most of the, money has been the 487. Service of debt, pay the debt. The 47 persons who died, and that is precious souls, in the meanwhile, family members, going what? community because members who so died last year. To be, to we really have to put a stop to this kind of carnage in the country. Kind of Dr. Jones believes the absence of road markings are contributing to crashes. He says the NRSC has reached out to the National Works Agency to remedy the matter. Sandy Williams... TVJ News.